Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are doing very well by the grace of almighty Allah this is Khaled Akhtar assistant teacher of social science national ideal english version school Deshi. today i am going to take a bangladesh and global studies class for the students of class 7 so dear students today's topic is chapter 6 bangladesh and citizen of bangladesh and today's lecture is 14 and hw is 11 so dear students today's Lecture is 14 and HW is 11. So now let's start the class. Our today's chapter is chapter 6. And the topic is Bangladesh and citizen of Bangladesh. As you know, Bangl development of nation depends on the qualification and skills of its citizen. So a good citizenry is very important for a country. So of, in that chapter we will know about good citizen, and what is the barriers of good citizen and the rights and duties of a good citizen so at first we will look after at the lesson number one and in that lesson we will find characteristics of a good citizen in a country if we want to be developed we need the person and who are the citizen of that country and if they are not good the country will not be run properly so good citizen is very important for a country and uh, what are the characteristics by which a person can be a good citizen we will know in this part according to political scientist a citizen has to qualify three attributes that means three qualities three qualities or three characteristics to become a good citizen okay so, so, so in this structure we will find what are the three quality or three attributes number one is intelligence and the second number is self-control and the third one is conscientiousness the third one is conscientiousness the first one is intelligence an intelligent citizen is a resource for any nation to become intelligent one needs to become educated and earn knowledge an intelligent citizenry can play its role in important activities of a country such as electing suitable re representative in the in the election we need to elect the representative so uh, with the education and with the help of education when I am intelligent I can uh, elect the suitable representative for the state administer the country with skill administer the country with skill and contribute to the development and success of the country a intelligent person can contribute to the development of and success of a country and the second one is self-control self-control we all know what is self-control controlling ourselves is the self-control the power of controlling ourselves our choices our desires our anger all the things are included in self-control a good citizen must have self-control this attribute keep them away from dishonest activities like corruption nepotism selfishness partiality it is an inspiration to obey the rules and work for the society so self-control keep us away from corruption nepotism selfishness partiality so this self-control is an inspiration to obey the rules and work for the society and the third one is conscientiousness conscientiousness conscient, uh, conscientiousness these characteristics means the sense of good and bad and the sense of duty these characteristics mean the good and bad and the sense of duty that means what is good and what is not good we have the meaning of the sen sense and then we have the sense of duty a citizen with intelligence and self-control has to realize the merit of anything before doing that if it is wrong they must avoid it and if it is right they will do it that means the good thing will be done ourselves or done by ourselves or accepted by ourselves or the bad thing will be avoided by ourselves that means to be a good citizen we need three qualities like intelligence self-control and conscientiousness conscientiousness so with these three qualities we will be educated and we will be intelligent and we will control ourselves and we will be know the we will be knowing the good and bad which is good and which is not good for the society we will have the understanding of that and then we can make the best decisions and we can do the uh, development of the country 
so this is all the things which is included um, uh, and in the characteristics of good citizen by these qualities we can be a good citizen and which is very important for the country and go to the next page we will find lesson 2.1 okay so here we will discuss the barriers to being a good citizen in Bangladesh as we know good citizen have three characteristics but there are some barriers by which we cannot become a good citizen so we will discuss here the barriers indifference the first one is indifference a general disinterestedness that means the person is not interested a general disinterestedness on the part of a populace is called indifference when a person is not interested in something the whole thing is called indifference the quality the characteristics is called indifference it is the effect of various reasons uh, there are many reasons behind this like illiteracy lack of proper education idleness poverty and negation to responsibility that means whenever i have i don't have enough on enough uh, education i am ideal i am under the poverty and i am lots of responsibility but i am not agree about that that time these things are affected by uh, affected to the people and that time uh, indifferences happen and a become a person cannot be a good citizen so with education with proper education can remove this very greatly and the second one is selfishness under its influence an individual prefers their own interest to the interest of the country it is it easily leads the citizen to become involved in corruption nepotism and partiality selfishness can lead us to corruption nepotism and partiality so uh, under the influence of selfishness an individual prefers their own interest that means we are interested in something without knowing the interest of others and we are not taking care of the uh, others interest so this is the called selfishness and this is a barriers to be a good citizen and partnership as in Bangladesh is a democratic country in every democratic country there are two parties democracy, the democracy cannot do without political parties that means in democracy there will be more than one party one political party and the, as a result democratic system generally affects the kind of partnership so we have to make them make partnership we have to make lots of partners to be a democratic country and then partition attitude forces us that means partition attitude forces him or her to criticize the good deeds of opponents and forsake them that means in partnership in uh, partnership will be very clearly discussed wherever we are in democratic country in democratic country like bangladesh we have we have um, there are many uh, political parties in bangladesh and every party uh, owns the owns their uh, own interest and they are very careful about their own interest and they are not taking care of any parties so that's the opposition parties creates and whenever we have opposition party so oppo op partition open opponent or opposition opponent become uh, creates so that's why whenever we are uh, making oppositions that time we are not careful about each others so so this is a great barrier to be a good citizen and the fourth one is ignorance and illiteracy ignorant and illiterate people do not know as well as understand many things without education or without knowledge we can understand everything properly so about one third of population is illiterate in our country the number is about one third population so a huge number about one third population of the country population is illiterate in our country so they fail to take proper decision whenever that is necessary without knowledge without uh, education they fail to take proper decision whenever that is necessary so this is a great barrier to be a good citizen so these are the uh, points which are the barriers to become a good citizen in your book you will get another uh, more than uh, more than that uh, points and you will uh, go through the topics and if you find any problem you will um, call me or you can discuss about this in the live class and now lesson 2.2 measures of removing the barriers to becoming good decision good citizen measures of removing barriers that means how we can remove the barriers number one 
one has to be patriotic after getting proper education. Whenever we get proper education, we need to be patriotic. One has to remember that country has preference to individual and forget about any self-interest. We have to forget any kind of self-interest. One has to be universal instead of being partition. We have to be universal. One has to treat everyone equally irrespective of religion, caste and clan. That means we will, we will have to be we will have to be treated equally by everyone and number five everyone has to be brought to equal status by removing economic disadvantages as we know we have lots of economic disadvantages so if we can remove the economic disadvantage we can brought the equal status in our country and now lesson four achieving rights of citizen and being dutiful so the point is in your lesson 4 achieving rights of citizen and being dutiful that is very important i think every point is important and you can get a mcq type question or knowledge based question with any kind of points okay so the first one is rights of citizen the first one right to live we we, we should have the right to live right to movement right to sign contract freedom of press right to property right to follow religion right to think and use conscience, right to form family, right to language and culture, right to employment, health and education. So all are the rights of citizen. And you have to memorize all the points because with every point you can get a question. So the points are right to live, right to movement, right to sign contract, right uh, freedom of press, right to property, right to follow religion, right to think and use conscience, right to form family, right to language and culture, right to employment, health, education. And that there we will get duties and responsibilities of citizen. This is the rights and these are the duties. Right means government will uh, let us do all the things. And duties means we will do all the things to be a good citizen to the betterment of the country. And the first one is elegance to the country. We will be elegant to the country. Abide by law and order, we will abide the law and order. Use the right to vote. We will, we will use the right of vote and we will uh, elect the best representative for the society. Regular payment of taxes. If I am eligible or if we are eligible for payment, paying tax, we will pay the tax. Carry, carry out properly all government duties. We will maintain all the duties properly for the betterment of our country. And you have a SW, SW number 11. You will make five MCQs from this chapter. This is, a, this is your SW number 11, you, you, will, you will make 5 MCQ from this chapter and do the MCQ and submit this at Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So my dear students, hope you have understood today's topic. The topic was actually about citizens of Bangladesh and what are the, uh, what, what are the qualities by which a person can be a good citizen and what are the duties and rights and what are the barriers. So we all need to be a good citizen by which we can be a part of the betterment of our country. So everybody will practice the good qualities and we will try to remove the barriers of the society, barriers from the society and we will know about our rights and duties so that we can maintain all the things properly. So dear students, you will memorize and follow the book, go to the text properly, submit your SW, see you in the next class. Assalamu alaikum, Allah Hafiz.